the five star resonator for free during for free for free subscribe please hello hi guys today we finally have the watering waves developers message volume 4 for the version 1.2 optimization preview with a special note from developers so we have some amazing news in here as to what we can expect for 1.2 that's going to be releasing pretty soon pretty pretty soon because we're reaching the end of 1.1 i think changlist banner is here for another week or so um so you can expect this very soon and that's gonna be great so very very excited so here i've gotta go uh kind of quickly through this part here uh just say here's a sneak peek for the upcoming improvements and a special note so that's a bit loud i'm gonna remove it there it is in version 1.1 we implemented several quality of life improvements to the auto lock on system including optimization for resonators and some echo skills with the release of version 1.2, you'll gain access to the new custom lock-on feature under Settings Control. This option allows you to set the auto lock-on priorities for the enemies based on your combat preferences. And we can see here that the option seems to be movement direction, camera direction, and distance, which um, is nice. Um, yeah, I guess it's nice. It allows you to to kind of choose how you prefer to play if you tend to want to uh look on toward the enemy facing you or you're facing etc etc i don't know overall it's nice now this is actually very cool we have a new utility over droid shooter we've heard your feedback we're going to need to frequently switch between teams when there are no pistol using resonator available for challenges like the photon vault and similar puzzles in version 1.2 you'll be able to use the new overdroid shooter utility once the utility's feature is available, you can equip the Overdroid shooter in the utility wheel to shoot with the Overdroid. Simply tap or hold the basic attack button. More Overdroid features are under development. We hope this new addition will help you better explore Solaris. And I think this is absolutely great. I mean, let's be real. It wasn't a big issue. But I don't play with pistol users in my teams. And every time I was exploring, I had to switch back to put in Mortify or to put in uh, Shishui. Um, Shiksha, and I, I, it was just, you know, it was just a little bit annoying. So it's nice. It's a nice quality of life. We get a new tool. So now we don't really have to care about that. And I think uh, that's good. I think it's a good, uh, it's a good update. And also I'm looking forward to see what other utilities we're going to get in the future. Now, this, we've been waiting for this. We finally are going to be getting the excess wave plate storing system. A new feature to store excess wave plates will be introduced in version 1.2. So in the end, I mean, this is something they said they would be taking care of it while 1.0 was out. Two months later, well, not two months, two patches later, we are already getting it. And that is amazing because, I mean, it could have taken forever, right? I mean, it took forever for Star Rail or, I mean, Getshin is still not there, right? But here they said, we're going to do it, and they deliver. And I think this is amazing news because that means that they really do listen and they do really do care to some extent. I mean, they care more about the money, but they understand that giving us a good experience is the way to retain their player and to potentially, you know, make their business flourish. And that is great. So we are going to be to able to avoid losing too much resources when you're already capped out. So here it says, once you reach the wave plate cap, which is 240, you'll receive wave plate crystals instead. This crystal can be exchanged for wave plates of equivalent value. You will regenerate one wave plate crystal every 12 minutes, up to 480 wave plate crystals. Once this limit is reached, you will not gain additional wave plate crystals. So two things to take here. First of all, that means that you basically keep 50% of the resources, right? Because I believe it's one wave plate per six minutes. So that means that here you get um, 0 0.5 per minute, essentially, right? But this is still way better. Sometimes I, it takes me slightly more than 24 hours before I log in again. 
And so that way, well, I mean, if I missed a few hours, I'll still get something back. Now, the cap is only 480, like in Star Rail, for example, it's 2000, I think. Um, but, I mean, this is still pretty good. Uh, let's be real, they still want you to play, so I guess this is kind of like, okay, you can take a few days off, but come on, come back. <laughs> and, and I think this is still pretty good, I think it's pretty fair. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Um, it could be higher, I think that would be great to have it higher in the future, especially for players that take long breaks, for example. Like, let's say you just play the story and then you take a break until there's a new patch coming out, right? Um, but this is still very, very good, obviously. Next... <clears throat> The new Resonator Showcase feature, right there. With the release of version 1.2, you can view and display the convinced scenes and unlock Resonators with the Resonator Showcase feature. Tap the avatar on the terminal screen to open the Resonator Showcase. You can display up to three selected Resonators here. That's really cool. It's nice because those scenes, you can't really see them outside of when you pull, so now you have a chance to see them again, which is awesome. Also, uh, we we get a, a little sneak peek into how Jeji looks when you pull for her, and that's kind of cool. Uh, so that's nice. I mean, it's not really a quality of life. It's not really anything. It's just like, oh, okay, that's something. Now, when it comes to awesome things, the option to play at 120 FPS. The 120 FPS option will be available on select PC devices in version 1.2. Stay tuned for our official announcement for more availability details. So I think when I say select PC devices, I think it means some PC will be able to handle it. Maybe it has to do with your graphic card or something. I'm not sure. But either way, it is finally coming. So the 120 FPS was actually available during some of the CBTs. But I think some issues happened. And so they opted to actually remove it for the release of the of the 1.1 when the game went live for everybody because they didn't want people to have a bad experience with it. So they just decided to let it cook a little bit longer in the oven and it's good to see that it's finally out. It's not going to be for everybody yet, but it's clearly a good indication and a good step forward. Now for the last bit here, new Depths of Elusive Realm store reward. Thank you for your love and support for Depth of Elusive Realm. As we approach the final stages of version 1.1 stream of Blaze in Darkness Advance, it's actually already over. The White Kite will bring new exchange items to the Elusive Store. <clears throat> to help you try out and level up more Resonators, we'll add more exchange items to the Elusive Store in subsequent version of the Depth of Elusive Realm event. This item will be available as the convened events for the second half of each version are released. will be available as a convenient event for the second half. So essentially, this means that those new rewards will be available phase two of each patch. So for example, um, like, yeah, so starting with Chengli, for example, starting with Yinli. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, seven, more get boot activity point from a daily quest with the release of version 1.2. Activity point reward for the spend 180 wave play daily quest will be increased from plus 20 to plus 60. We hope this change will help you complete your daily activity points quest more quickly. This is awesome. Uh, plus 20 is actually very little. Um, I think we have some plus 40 quest. Um, and this is nice. They're increasing this by a lot, uh, which will make... Yeah, basically, you can just log in, spend your wave plate, and basically you're done, right? Because like, um, if you do it at the overworld boss... If you do it at a um, overworld boss or over like a overlord class monster, like some of the the weekly bosses, that already gives you some reward. If you do forgery challenge, if you do any of those, they are rewards on top of getting the spending the wave plate. So basically, just by spending a wave plate now, you're pretty guaranteed to get all the activity points you need. Now we have the special note from developers. Version 1.2 in the Turquoise Moon Glow is coming soon. In this update, we'll introduce the Moon Chasing Festival events and dedicate ourselves to address any issues that have impacted your experience so far. We're well aware that many aspects of Watering Waves still have room for improvement, and we're committed to listening to your feedback to continually optimize and enhance the game. Together, we aim to create a better Solary 3 and offer you more thrilling adventures. We are also excited, and there it is, to announce that everyone Everyone will receive the five-star resonator Shangli Yao for free 
during for free for free during the second half of version 1.2 stay tuned for more detailed event information we are getting this guy for free insane um so uh, i mean i know some people are not really into his design they think he's bland uh, I kind of get it. I, I think he looks pretty okay. I think he's part of the army. Um, oh, no, no, no. Actually, he's part from the research um, the research institute. I think he's a colleague of Motifi. I'm pretty sure. So because of the arm, metallic arm, um, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a gauntlet user, right? So he might have some cool animation with, like, maybe his gauntlet becomes big or something. Or he has, like, some Iron Man pulls or some stuff. Anyway, I think he looks pretty decent. And, I mean, he's free. He's free! Just, like, got the ratio! Genshin could ever, insane. And uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, if you've played, I know a lot of people have said that it looks like Lee from PGR. So this is uh, this is nice. I mean, it's always nice to get uh, a free character. From all the purple we see, I think it's gonna be a Gauntlet Electro character, uh, which could be a nice upgrade to um, um, Yuan Wu, I think. Uh, but it depends what he can do, right? Um, I could see him being like a quote-unquote main DPS rather than a, a co uh, coordination unit. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Uh, we sincerely hope to join you on your adventures and look forward to your progress and growth in Watering Waves. Thank you again for your dedication and support. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, overall, some very, very good news. Uh, not much to say about apart from that, right? We are getting the lock-on features for people that use the lock-on feature. Uh, the overjoyed shooter is good quality of life. The excess wave plate storage is good quality of life. The showcase is just okay. Some people will like that, I guess. Um, the FPS is very, very good. And we are getting more reward from the, um, the, the elusive realm, which is the kind of rogue light experience in the game. And, uh, and then we're getting a way to spend... Uh, your wave plate will give you more rewards, so you get more activity points, and a free character, a free five star. So overall, I think this is absolutely amazing. Uh, great news! Crow is still listening. Crow is still delivering, and uh, I know a lot of people have been kind of doom posting since the revenue chart kind of came out with the uh, sensory tower, and they're like, "Oh my god, they only, only got twenty million! Oh, what a failure! It's a failure!" And it's just like, no, nah, 12 million is pretty good. I think they used to make around 2 million with PGR. This is 10 times the revenue they used to have, right? On top of things. And um, I mean, 1.1, 1 .1, um, I mean, there's, there was a slightly less hype. I think there were some issues with potentially some of the days it got register at the beginning of some banners. I don't know, regardless of the... Let's put it this way, even if there was no issues and everything was registered, I still it's still pretty good and it's gonna keep them afloat. They had some issues before the game released, they had to um, cut costs, cut corners because uh, stuff was getting a bit rough. It's nice to see them uh, bouncing back with Wuthering Wave and having a game like this that's uh, pretty successful. So yeah, overall, great news, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, subscribe, all the good good. And also, we are so close to getting a thousand viewers. Once it is reached, I will be trying out Tower of Fantasy. I actually played the game when it first released for like an hour, but it was so buggy and laggy that I was just like, nah, I'm good, there's too many people, and I never went back to it. But now I see that the game is going full degen with like, you can undress your characters in their like room and stuff, and you can do some massage. I'm down, I'm down to clown, I don't care, I'll go and check it out. So anyway, yeah, if you want me to play this silly game, do subscribe, and I'll see you next time.